Right here in the reservoir box or filter box, I am using a three quarter inch PVC. That is a T with a straight pipe to come up as the discharge of my filter. I'm currently marking out how long my filter pieces are going to be. This filter is just to catch the rocks so they do not wind up in the reservoir that holds the pump to feed my hydro system. You can see I'm only cutting halfway through the pipe, not all the way through. Now the slits are done in the filter. I got to cut this into two pieces. When you cut these, you get a lot of some debris. So make sure you blow them out really good to get all that. Now I'm going to assemble the filter sides to the T. Notice I made the T or the ends of the T long enough to meet the sides of the plastic bin. That's just so rocks don't get caught in there too. And we know that it fits correctly. We're going to go ahead and cut some slits on the bottom side of this discharge filter just so we get more water flow. I am doing my best to cut the slits about a quarter inch apart from each other. This is going to be the inlet of my filter. Fresh water or water from the pond is going to flow in through this. Uh, I use this to diffuse the, the water so it's not all coming out at one point. And also the water can flow through the bottom of the rocks or the bottom of my filter, not just up the top and back out down the bottom. Um, but So it uses all the rocks. What I'm using is a three inch ABS drain pipe, I believe it is. Uh, also using a cap at the bottom to catch larger solids if any come through the filter. After cutting the slits in this ABS, make sure you get all the debris and burrs off of this just so it doesn't go through your filter. Mm. Put this cap here on the bottom just so that the particulates or particles won't go into the bottom of the rocks this will catch anything real heavy this will be the inlet goes in right here it's going to soak through all the rocks that'll be right here and then discharge out into my reservoir this <clears throat> all right this is some um hose that was once upon a time tire. I'm going to put this at the bottom of the tub with the hose running out of under the rocks so when I want to clean it out I can just um, induce air into here, uh, pressurize air, and it'll circulate everything, get all the uh, solids to the top and I'll be able to drain that out. Um, but 
Let's go ahead and plug this and put a bunch. The more, the merrier. So you just want to, you're going to, when you clean it out, you're going to want to agitate the rocks as much as possible. Okay, and then I'll run it up the side right here. So the water's gonna come in, out through here, through the rocks, through here, and then out to my pump that'll be over here very soon. If you are using lava rock like I am, you really need to make sure you wash the rocks before you put them uh, to use in your filter or they will make your water turn uh, red, <laughs> in this case, or black if you're using the black lava rock. So you gotta make sure this stuff is really clean before you start to use it. Trying to get it to siphon. What's that? Is this the hose right there? Yeah. Yeah, they can look at it. It's gone. Gotta stay small like that or something? It's definitely going. It's going. I'm seeing it right here. And I'm seeing it right here. Don't touch that, please. It's got to stay high over here and low over there. Why low over here? Can you go turn the water on low? It is on. No, it's not. Did you turn on low? A little bit higher. Just seeing if I turned it on. You did. I can see it. Higher. Can you go turn on a little bit higher? That's good. Why is this filling up? Should I be doing that? 
Hopefully it gets faster or starts speeding up. But is this supposed to be filling up? I think it has to be a half inch. Now it's going, it changes way faster like that. <coughs> to clean it. Minutes. This is gonna be perfect. The wa there's water right there. Stop. 